tell us a little bit about your background, how you got your start in music, and if it was something that you always knew you wanted to pursue. Right. Um, so hi, my name's Keys. Uh I am an alternative like pop rock artist based from North Carolina, currently living in the Midwest. Um, I originally got my start in music um initially in the church doing like choir and uh that progressed into um being an opera singer in college mm -hmm. and then uh I am a two-time college dropout and now aspiring to be a rock star yes <laughs> <laughs> the dream yeah living the dream <laughs> <laughs> um how has music shaped who you are as a person um has it been a type of therapy for you uh yes, I would say that the the music that I write has been very cathartic for me. Um the the way that I go about songwriting is very open and raw and I just try to keep it as real as possible. Um I have to ask what is this what does your wall say? Oh, over here? Yeah. <laughs> um so anyways hello there's the cat that I said that was gonna join us at some point um <laughs> this is um a bed sheet that was used in my partner's band's music video he's the vocalist of the Sherman neckties okay. so it's a bed sheet that has the Sherman neckties spray painted on it okay I was just trying to figure <laughs> out what that would spell and I couldn't yeah okay yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> very fun um which musicians do you admire most and why um let me think okay so currently I'm really into an artist called Ethel Kane um I don't really know how to describe the genre of Ethel Kane but uh she is a trans woman and she has kind of like just broken so many barriers and just writes such a mode of music and she kind of is like you know the pinnacle of what I'm, like uh, basically what I'm trying to achieve mm -hmm. uh so her um I also draw a lot of inspiration from Halsey mm -hmm. Halsey's one of my favorite uh artists of all time so uh she's definitely very inspiring to me and additionally to that uh another band that's very inspiring to me is a band called Bad Flower um the, I take a lot of inspiration with like how I approach writing um, yeah. basically based off of their full length first record. Um, my for, my full length first record is going to be uh, topically very similar to their first record. Okay. Yeah. I love Bad Flower. Um, yeah. I got to shoot yeah, them great. last year. I love them. Yeah. No, they, they put on a great show. They really do. One of my favorites actually. Mm -hmm. um, yeah I agree I've seen them a couple times they're awesome what so what do you hope to achieve with creating music is there something in particular that you want people to take away from your songs um I would say that mostly what I try to achieve is just to uh create something that is like causes like a visceral reaction like I just want to uh make something that causes someone else to feel something not necessarily I'm not necessarily looking to inspire <laughs> um but I would say that I I just I just want to make something emotive and mm -hmm. something that like leaves a mark I think you are thank um, you <laughs> I, I mean I just discovered you two days ago I'm kind of obsessed with circle at this point thank you I was going around I was going around the apartment singing it today <laughs> oh my gosh awesome that makes me so happy um so speaking of that how would you describe that single is there anything you would like to share about uh the meaning or just anything about it yeah so circle is uh basically a song that like in a nutshell is just kind of like straight up nihilism <laughs> uh it's just uh this this fill i mean i use circle in a lot of different instances throughout the song um kind of like painting like some sort of picture of just like the feeling of circling back to the inevitable like rock bottom that you're going to hit yeah um or like the cycle of like you know you go through like times where you're you're happy and then you're like neutral and then you go back to like the rock bottom 
uh filling of like nothing matters so that's basically like in a nutshell what circles about is that cycle of uh coming Mm -hmm. back to the beginning okay um what else are you passionate about besides music um well I obviously love my fur babies I see this <laughs> even though this one's not mine this yeah. one's just uh one I'm cat sitting right now mm-hmm. um but uh I am passionate about animals um pretty big animal rights activist I am a vegetarian I am like entirely cruelty free with the products that I buy mm-hmm. um that leading into my next thing I'm a makeup artist and um I do a little bit of hair on the side as well Mm -hmm. um I've done many like you know music videos and you know photography shoots uh some for some other people within the triangle area such as like uh flood district um I helped out a black bouquet music video um you know there's a couple other artists as well but Mm -hmm. yeah uh into that and then also in my day job I am in retail management and I (laughs) am pretty passionate about my day job as well um but yeah, for the most part, that's pretty much it. Like, I just, I yeah. love my music. I love my makeup. I love my animals. And <laughs> I love my team at my day job. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Um, So how has it been, like, recording the debut album? And do you have an anticipated date? I do not have an anticipated date. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm looking, I have a time frame that I'm, like, setting for myself to be, uh, like, the goal. Um, yeah. Hopefully by the end of summer 2023, it will be out. Okay. Hopefully. I'm giving <laughs> myself a year because I'm about 80% done. Yeah. Um, with that being said, it's been, uh, I've been working on this record for about two years. Um, mm-hmm. I have been recording it in Detroit, Michigan, which is partially why we moved here. We started the record um, officially the day that everything shut down in the pandemic um (laughs) so uh as you can tell it's been a long time coming yeah um it's been a great experience um it's shaping up to be very different than what I would imagine my first record to look or sound like yeah but um it's been a very fulfilling and like I said earlier cathartic experience for me (laughs) and I'm just very grateful that I have like had the opportunity to work with you know, my producer and write the songs that I'm getting to write um, and share the stories that I get to share. So yeah. it's it's been it's been really great. I'm about uh, 80, 90 percent done. So do you have all the songs written? Or uh, yes. Is that part so all do? of the songs okay. are written and nine out of 10 of them have at least started the p- recording process. Um, okay. I have a song that I had uh, done previously with a different producer that is the final song so we're going to redo that song with my current producer and uh make it what it needs to be to fit the record yeah um like you know thematically and sonically so um yeah I mean other than that the only other things I need to do is to like little like tidbits here and there it just like it's it's mostly fleshed out it just needs um fine tuning at this point Okay, that's exciting though. I'm looking yeah, forward to no, hearing I'm super it. Super excited. <laughs> that was Thank that's my you. only complaint. You don't have much out there. I want to hear. Yeah, more. well, like <laughs> I had about I want to say five or six songs out, and then um, when I started working with my current producer, uh, the quality was just significantly different. And then mm. also, I was kind of rebranding as an artist. Prior, I was more of like a dark pop artist. Like I was more pop leaning. Um, I was very like reminiscent of like uh crosses, like the Deftones, you know, side yeah. project and uh, uh like churches, like you know, like more very much more pop leaning than I um currently am. But now yeah. I've rebranded more of like as a rock slash pop rock slash metalcore, you know, fusion artist. Yeah. So um I kind of removed that prior discography with the hopes of um re-recording it in the appropriate time yeah so no absolutely you should you should be proud of what you have out there you know you want it to be representative Mm -hmm. of what you want you know your sound yeah okay for sure well that was actually all I had for you (laughs) oh wow yeah that was very short yeah (laughs)
<laughs> All right. Well, cool. thank you for chatting. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Have yeah. a good one. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.